Hi, lovely people. This is Rich Brain. In this video, we are going to find solution to the problem on the board, which is that if cos into bracket x minus y is equal to x e exponent x, we should find dy over ds. That that is the derivative of that function. So how do we go about it? Remember. Compound angle identity says if we have cos x minus y, its expansion will be equal to cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. That's one. Also, if we have sine to bracket x minus y then it expands should be equal to sin x cos y minus sin y cos x. So these two compound angles identities will help us to solve this problem. So I have know that cos in the bracket x minus y is equal to cos x cos y plus sin x sin y. And we are asked to differentiate this. Then we can say cos into bracket x minus y being equal to x e exponent x will become in the place of this we substitute this expansion. So we have cos x cos y plus sine x sine y and that equal to x e exponent x now i need to differentiate this using implicit differentiation and product rule for that matter so since this is multiplying we we'll use product rule so we'll keep cos x and differentiate cos y plus keeping cos y and differentiate cos x in that in that direction so here i'm going to keep cos x and differentiate cos y. So if I differentiate cos x, I get negative sin x cos y. Then plus. Now keep my cos x and differentiate cos y. When I differentiate cos, so I'll keep my cos x. When I differentiate cos y, I'll get negative sin x negative sine y dy over dx since it is implicit differentiation so the differential of this is this now we tackle this the same approach i'll keep sine x and differentiate sine y so i'll get sine x when i differentiate sine y i'll get cos y implicit so we attach dy over dx to it now keep my sine y and differentiate sine x. If I differentiate sine x, I'll get cos x. So I have cos x sine y. And all that equal to now the differential of this, another product. So I'll keep x and differentiate e exponent x. If I differentiate e exponent s, it's still e exponent s. Then I can have x e exponent x then plus now keep e exponent x and differentiate x when i differentiate x i'll get e exponent when i differentiate x is one multiplied by e exponent x will still be e exponent x so now let's polish our differential variable so i'll get minus sin x cos y minus cos x sin y dy over dx then plus sin x cos y dy over dx then plus cos x sin y equal to x e exponent x plus e exponent x so now 
I'll group the items by bringing those with the have ADS attached to one side and those without the have ADS to the other side. So I'll have the first one here sin x cos y divided by dx then minus cos x sin y divided by dx then I have this which is cos x sine y then minus minus this one as sine x cos y minus sine x cos y and all that equal to x e exponent x plus e exponent x so i'll factor out the other dx out so i'll have sine x cos y minus i can bring my sine y first so sine y cos x since multiplication is commutative multiply by the over dx then plus cos x sine y then minus sine x cos y equal to x e exponent x plus e exponent x so i can send all this there so i'll have sine x cos y minus sine y cos x times dy over dx equal to so this is negative when i send it there to become positive so i have sine x cos y then this is negative it will become this is positive it will become negative so i'll minus i'll bring the sine y first sine y cos x since multiplication is still commutative then plus x e exponent x plus e exponent x so remember sine x cos y minus sine y cos x sine x cos y minus sine y cos x the whole of this is just sine into bracket x minus y so in place of this we just have it with sine into bracket x minus y i hope you get that so we say that sine into bracket x minus y dy over dx will be equal to look at this again sine x cos y minus sine y cos x this and that's the expansion of this is that so in place of this i'll substitute this again so i'll have sine into bracket x minus y then plus x e exponent x plus e exponent x what next i'll divide both sides by sine to bracket x minus y to make dy over dx the subject so i'll have my dy over dx be equal to sine x minus y plus x e exponent x plus e exponent x all over sine to bracket x minus y so we can repolish this to have dy over ds to be equal to sine to bracket x minus y over sine to bracket x minus y plus x e exponent x plus e exponent x also divided by sine into bracket x minus y i hope you get that so how about dy over ds to be equal to when this divide this will be left with one so that will be one plus e exponent s is common to this i can factor it out 
and half x plus 1 over sine into bracket x minus 1. Then we can say this is our derivative or the dy over ds. I hope you get this. If this interests you, please hit that subscription button, like and comment on my videos because these are the only ways you can help promote my YouTube channel and I can sh share more mathematical content with you. Please, this is really pretty.